The state DOT is getting ready to add lanes to I-40 in Raleigh and might have some drivers feeling a sense of deja vu. Yeah, the Fortify project brought traffic problems for almost five years in the 2010s. WRL's Brian Schrader is asking the DOT why it didn't add lanes at the time. Nastasia Bryant moved here three years ago. It's nice. I love Raleigh. But driving on I-40, not so much. The traffic out here can be a pain. It can be a super, super headache. Help is coming for drivers. The DOT is adding one to two lanes in each direction of I-40 between Lake Wheeler Road and US-1 and redesigning that complicated, busy interchange at US-1 and I-440. Construction is scheduled to start in 2025. But if you've been around here for a few years, you might be asking, didn't we just do this? Memories of the Fortify project are still fresh in many minds. Back in 2013, crews started tearing up more than 11 miles of Interstate 40, including this section, and they rebuilt it because of failing pavement. It created travel headaches for about four years. I asked the DOT's Aaron Moody, why didn't the state build these new lanes during that project? It really comes down to the, the timing of the project development for the new project. Moody says it takes a long time to develop these projects, and he said that the pavement was deteriorating so rapidly on I-40, they had to act fast back in 2013. It would have just continued to deteriorate and, and become, you know, undrivable almost, uh, uh, impassable uh, to the point to where we knew we needed to go ahead and move that project forward first. Bryant says that she is looking forward to the improvements, but not another work zone. Going through the process, that's going to be a headache. Brian Schrader, WRAL News, Raleigh. And so the state DOT wants to hear from you about the I-40 widening project and redesign of the interchange at US-1. We have a link in our story on WRAL.com and the WRAL News app.